got 535 members of Congress and only five are willing to represent the values of the people of this country? That means that something has taken a grip of politics in Washington, D.C. Now, I have come into contact with the American Israel Public Affairs Committee. <laughs> they are by far the most powerful lobby in Washington, D.C. But what this vote shows us is that there is a very real disconnect between our values and the values of the special interests that have captured Washington, D.C. So, if the special interests can have a lobby in Washington, D.C., then I think that the people of this country ought to have a lobby.
and there's this wonderful pleasure boat, 66 foot boat, and of course, I'm not a boater. I'm not even a swimmer. <laughs> I don't even know how to put the life jacket on. And so, um, I, uh, we're out there in the sea, and all of a sudden, the Israeli warships, there were three of them, and they began to follow us. And they trained their spotlights on the boat. And they would come up really close, and then they would fall back. And we'd think, well, we're safe now. And then they'd come up really close again, and then they'd fall back. And then they came up really close, and then all of a sudden, it went pitch dark. We're in international waters, and all of a sudden, we all are flying everywhere. The boat had been rammed three times, twice in the front, one on the side where I was sitting. There had been no contact at all from the Israeli Navy until after the ramming, and then they uh, called us terrorists and said that we were engaged in subversive activity. We had three tons of medical supplies on our boat. They lied and said that our captain was trying to outmaneuver them and crashed into them and that their warship was damaged by our pleasure. <laughs> and incredibly, CNN had placed a journalist, a real journalist, on the boat with us, and he is in the midst of all of this, I hear him arguing with CNN because CNN wants to tell the Israeli disinformation rather than tell the story that he wants to report. That's what CNN did. Al Jazeera was on the boat with us, three reporters. who had been in Guantanamo for six years for no reason other than he was a reporter with Al Jazeera covering U.S. activity in Afghanistan. Al Jazeera treated the entire voyage from Cyprus to eventually Lebanon as a breaking story with 24-hour continuous coverage. And so, Unbeknownst to the Israelis, we have not only the facts of our witness, but we also have the Al Jazeera tapes. The election is being prepared now against Israel for what they did to the dignity. But let me just really conclude my remarks by saying that the fact that we can have a town hall meeting like this on this subject, in my, what, 12 years in Congress, and far longer than that in political life, is absolutely unprecedented. We have an opening now to tell the greater American public the truth about the activities of our government, what goes on in our name with our tax dollars, and how we can stop it. And the one thing that I would ask of the Congress and of our President-elect is that we don't